Welcome back to more Game of Thrones. Now we're here with the Wildling Chick. So, got a turtle. Let's see what's up. I'm disappointed in you. You're freezing. Yeah, don't worry about it. Someone has to keep watch. <sighs> oh. I feel like it's just because Finn could be here or it's he getting couldn't. Worse, isn't it? So they're kind of writing him out. But we're only about a few days out from the Atla River. We cross a bridge the first men built. And from there, we can try to find the North Grove. Ah, uh, right, Sylvie. We're not going north. We're going south to join Mance and the rest of the Free Folk. That's a horrible but, idea. That was always the plan, Cotter. I have to go to the North Grove. My family's depending on it. <laughs> Your family needs you to wander around in the snow until you get eaten by a direwolf. Hey. Please, Sylvie. He knows what he's doing. Does he now? Tell me then. How did my brother get that gash in his arm? You dressed his wound up well enough. That stab but why did in you get his hurt in the first place? What does that have to do with the Hush, Cotter! I'm asking Fish Face here. Attacked by wildlings? Sylvie! Don't Sylvie me. I want to hear it from him. Some wildlings. Uh free folk. Uh, mistook Cotter for a crow. I can't imagine why. We tried to reason with them and, well, well, things got out of hand. Out of hand? From the look of him, he was nearly killed? You call it a scratch and then you say he's nearly killed. Point is, what? you don't belong out here. Sylvie, I've known Garrett a while now. He may not be one of us, but I trust him. I've been waiting months for you, Cotter. And when you finally come home, it's with some crow who can barely build a fire. No. <laughs> We don't need to die for him. Me neither. Fucking North Grove isn't even real. And if it is, it's probably full of wolves and more wildies. Fens, probably. Huh. <laughs> you didn't lose your nerve already, did you? Finn, will you Just piss off! Some leader you turned out to be. Wait, what? You should listen to him. The further north you go, the more likely you'll never come back. <laughs> it's just not worth it. Uh, you know what? Whatever. Once Cotter's fit to travel, Tell -tale. we head south. With or without you, Garrod. Sylvie. You need to rest. And we'll be wanting more than onions to eat. I won't go far. Fucking... Oh, don't be angry, Garrett. Everyone's a piece of shit. This isn't what it looks like. I can explain. Did you know she'd refuse to go north? I swear, I didn't. I thought she could help. Sylvie knows these woods better than I do. If anyone can find the North Grove, it's her. And besides, I couldn't just leave her. I get that, but... I won't do that. Not again. Then convince her to go with us. She's your sister. Well, maybe she's right. She's maybe so you don't belong up here. You don't mean that. So that's it. I can't head north without a guide. You can. I go where she goes. I'm sorry, Garrett. Garrett. Why didn't you just tell me the truth? That you came here to find your sister? I wanted to, but... I didn't think you'd understand. I couldn't risk it. I'm sorry. You and your sister, you, uh... You don't look much alike. 
the white hair and... I know what you're getting at, so you may as well just say it. I, I just wondered. She was born like that. My mother used to call her Little Moon. The rest oh my of God. our village thought she was a bad omen. Avatar shit! The better of them stayed away from her. The worse? Let's just say I'm glad to be rid of them. Oh. What happened to your village? Did you leave? Well, not by choice. When Sylvie reached two years, they told my mother we weren't welcome anymore. <laughs> she wasn't welcome. Dick move. I guess they all hoped she wouldn't survive long enough to get a name. <laughs> but she's tough, Sylvie. No way she wasn't going to make it. Why were they afraid of your sister? Same reason you southerners call us wildlings. Same reason you put up that wall to keep us out. People are assholes. <laughs> Good enough. Where's your mother now? <laughs> I don't know. Still back at the village for all I know. She tried to send my sister away. Wrapped her up in furs and everything like a good mother would. I left that night when I heard. Hmm. How's your arm feeling? Decent, I'd say. Why'd you ask? Oh, you mean this one? <laughs> yeah, it's shit. So you really won't take me north? I want to help you, Garrid. I mean it. But I can't leave her behind. And besides, north of here, I'd be as lost as you. <sighs> well, well. All right, Finn. Let's have a heart to heart. Oh well. Let's look at Sylvie's hut first. Wonder if her mother gave her that. Bear Little moon. Moonfish. Bear moonfish. Oh, this is that stuff Cotter was drinking. Hmm. Oh. Well, it's not so bad. You've been drinking my wine! <laughs> what are you doing over here? There's a perfectly good fire. I'm not going anywhere near those fucking wildlings. Oh, come on. Just give them a chance. I did. And look where it got us. I'm sorry for getting you into this mess. Really. Not your fault. I wanted to come. Just didn't know this is how it turned out. Come on, Finn. You'll freeze your ass off if you stay here. Suppose you're right. May as well get warm before I die. Oh my god, then I have to go back. Donk, donk, donk. What? I'll be fine, Garrett. You don't have to keep looking at me like that. The fuck? Well. Could you have been any louder? Sorry. Never met a crow before. Sorry I almost killed you. Sure. Might have done you a favor though. Plenty of things want to kill a crow up north. Giants, fens. Shadow cats and ice spiders. Ice spiders! And the white walkers, of course. A spear sounds nice after all that, doesn't it? I'm not a crow anymore. I left that life behind me. <laughs> I like it's Once been crow, so long. always a crow. That's what they say, anyway. Don't frighten our dinner 
away. Shit. Mind if I give it a shot? Go ahead. You know how to use that. You're not going to shoot me in the leg, are you? I trained at Castle Black. So your shit then. <laughs> Bad for a crow. Whatever. I make do. do. Nicely, little one. Would that be enough? <laughs> You've ever seen Cotter eat? We'll need another. Come on. <laughs> you killed one. Do it again. Are you serious? Are you nervous? Maybe next time, Garrett. It's not much, but it'll last us. Cooked up with some of those onions you've got, we might even enjoy it. <laughs> it suddenly starts fucking scurrying. You're not half bad with a bow. Could come in handy. Piece of shit. Whatever, game. I'm getting a little sassy about the game. I'm sorry. You ever I'm lost sorry. anyone, Garrett? Someone you really cared about? Someone you thought you couldn't live without seeing ever again. Do you know what that's like? I lost my family. First my mother, then my sister and father. So you know how it feels. Cotter and I, we lost everything too. And we nearly lost each other. I didn't think he'd make it back this time. And I won't risk losing him again. Not even for the North Grove. You know something about it, don't you? Only what I've heard. But don't get your hopes up. It's not worth it. Please, Sylvie. I need to know. Please. A few years back. One of the Ice River clans set out to find it. They'd heard stories. That the cold couldn't touch it. That it's safe, even in the dark of winter. That'd so be cool. they'd set out, all full of hope. And none of them ever returned. Because it was so fucking cool. <laughs> Maybe they stayed there. Maybe they liked it. <laughs> Free folk never stay anywhere. You'd know that if you were. Garrett! Help! Cotter! You're the, the bunny! What the fuck? Oh, dude. Look out! Wait! Wait! The others! Okay, whatever. Just go to some other place. Don't just. Let's this not deal like with this. Place. <laughs> this is definitely the place. So, who are we dealing with exactly? Pit fighters. Oh, cool. Two go in, one comes out. Day after day. No rules, but Spartacus kill. shit. Anyone who can survive that is capable of anything. They're crazed savages. But one pit fighter is worth any ten cell swords. If you can convince them to fight for you. And that's not going to be easy. Don't expect to charm them or reason with them. If we're very lucky, we'll walk out with our heads. I've been fighting alongside cell swords for years, Beska. I know how to talk to killers. Understand these aren't soldiers. They're animals you unleash. Hey, doggy! With a hand! They're certainly having their fun here. Must make you feel pretty good, seeing the masters overthrown. They're not gone. They're just on their knees. And when they get back to their feet, they'll be more dangerous than ever. The sons of the happy. You did what? 
What the fuck? Trust me. You don't want to get involved, Russia. Hey, give me your money. And severed heads. The servants and guards of his house. They killed them all. Why? Some of these must have been slaves, too. Because they felt like it. Meh. That's a good enough reason for this lot. Your friends have been busy. Let's hope our heads don't end up here. Is that guy alive? Maybe. <laughs> oh, hey. Oh, one last thing. They're not fond of strangers. Well... Or anyone who shows weakness. Or fear. Or really any highborn pricks with lily-white asses like you, little brother. I can handle this. Oh, after you then. Well, if it isn't Beska, the fucking basilisk. We just want to talk to Amaya. You don't want to be in here, little man. You best go back the way you came. Let me punch before him. Before I decide to eat you. Let me punch I'll him. start with your eyeballs. Fucking juicy when they pop. And then I'll pull out your little bones to pick my teeth with. You sure you have room for me? You seem pretty well fed already. <laughs> my master only ever fed me when I won. I won a lot. So you got fat and you got slow. You've got to the count of three to turn around and walk away. One. Two. Boom. Krogan! <laughs> this fucking guy to the left! Dude. I like this one! Hey, Abaya! Company! Okay, he was... Okay, no, he was... He was not supposed to be there, I think. He's not a pig. Well, they're pit yeah, fighters. Some masters couldn't get enough of the fighting, so they built their own private pits. Yeah, that, where things could get really nice. Gotta keep up the training. <laughs> ech, ech, move it. Move it. Go away. Boy, didn't even get a chance to get up. Rude. I hope we have a That's cool Doctore character. Keep your cock in your pants, little brother. She's likely to chop it off. Hey. Well, hello there. Not many people get past the beast. You must need something very badly. So, out with it. Before I decide not to let you leave. I've come with an offer. I think it's one that'll interest you and your men. If you wanted my interest, you wouldn't have shown up with her. Amaya, That seems please. to have gotten Here's your what. interest, though. I had a friend once, the Basilisk, but she died a long time ago. I earned my freedom. You walked out on me. On all of us. I loved you. Fighting side by side, we were goddesses of the pits. You have a problem with her? Deal with me. So, she noticed what that. is it that you want? <laughs> Why shouldn't we rip you to pieces and feed you to the beast? <laughs> Man, I don't even. My patience wears thin. My enemies mean to butcher my family in Westeros. 
They killed my father. They killed my little brother. And now I need great warriors to help me avenge their deaths and reclaim my home. You think we sell swords? We don't fight other people's wars. We are pit fighters! Artists who paint in blood! That was yesterday. Blech. Fighting pits have been closed. You're all free now! Free to do what you want! Don't you see that? Yes, we are free. Why would we follow another? We don't have masters anymore! Why would we follow anyone ever again? The thrill of you war! You excel at combat! But you know nothing until you've tasted the thrill of war! Waves of men crashing together! Blood and steel! Sell that wartime economy. In Westeros, they sing of our great warriors for thousands of years! Amaya, the way I left was terrible, I know. But we were friends once, and could be again. Please, set aside your anger and listen to him. You want to lead pit fighters? You have to earn their respect first. We don't know who you are until we see you bleed. What if I'm so good that I need to bleed? You're gonna have to show them you fight. All right. Who? Oh. Who's the best you've got? His name is Blood Song. He's vicious, fearless, and fast. Oh, I've never seen him before. Take a good look there. He's the man who's going to kill your boy. Eh, I thought worse. And what do they call that, that scary one with the two axes and the skull tattoo back in lease? What, was it pestilence, plague? The scourge. Right, the scourge. Anyway, he's dead. Well, <laughs> suppose I better get this over with. I guess. So what are you supposed to be? With your little axe? Your pretty blonde beard. I'd sooner bend you over to fuck than fight you. Thanks for noticing the beard. <laughs> beard. Well, come on! Let's see how you die! If I die in This there. is how we fight in dawn. Yeah? You have a dying wish? This ought to be good. Will you at least kill Bloodsong? Seems like a fair fight. <sighs> uh, I suppose. Hey! I need those! Hey! We will fight with the weapons we give you. Hey! Rudd! You all see this cockless Westerosi? He's come to order us to battle. Like our masters did! I kill no man because another orders me to. I kill a man because it pleases me! Let me show you how we dance in Marine! That's lovely. You know why I kill a man? So he's dead and I'm alive. Let's get this over with. Choose a weapon and try not to die. Only one of you leaves the pit alive. May the best fighter win! The best would be me! Yeah. Who's this? Club! Ready your ears for the song of blood! Don't know what the fuck that means, but I'm gonna have to refuse. Would it help if I stood still? Yes. Maybe. Come on, pretty boy. Get wrecked. Son of a whore! You won't be so lucky this time. Shoo, shoo, shoo. Hey to tell you, but that wasn't luck. Get in close, man. Are you ready? Westerosi? This is gonna hurt! You're 
yours would be a beautiful death. Isn't that something you'd like to say? Wow, he talks again. Hear that, boy? We cannot let the crowd go wanting. I think I can, actually. For that, you die slow. I still have the sickle, it's still- Last chance! Last chance? What do you mean? See if you're still smiling after I break your face! Well, I'm surprised you can lift it! Hey, <laughs> <Dang>, nice. <laughs> you, you son of a bitch! <laughs> Break his nose. I'm ready! Westerosi! Don't hold back! Don't intend to! Look at this terrified boy! He fears his end! As he should! Oh! Oh! That wrestling hold! Oh shit! <laughs> Hey, don't break my arm. I need that arm. Hey. Damn, right in the bone. Or not. Well, I have that sickle still. War cleaver, I don't even know. Eh, take you to kill him. She's impressed. Your old champion is gone. As are your old masters. You can stay here in Marine with nothing, or you can come with me. I chose you for a reason. You're true warriors. Warriors I admire and respect. You deserve better than this. You deserve more than to die for someone else's entertainment. Fighting under someone else's rules. I won't hold you back. Fight with me, and there are no rules. If you've got the balls to follow me, we will set sail at dawn. And to those too craven to join me, to hell with you! Bleh. All right, guys. Uh, we'll fight the others in the next episode. So uh, thanks for watching, and tune into the next.